our third speaker this evening, today, Sunny Fridge. Hold fast to dreams. Hold fast to dreams, Sunny Fridge. How many of you began the year with a dream that you wanted to achieve? How many of you achieved that dream or are still working on it? I'm delighted to be among so many dreamers. I grew up in New York City, filled with millions of people from around the world who relocated to the Big Apple to live the American dream. You may be surprised to know what the location is of the most dreamers. It's not New York, it's not Hollywood, it's the graveyard. So many people die without accomplishing their dreams. I'm reminded of a dream scenario described by motivational speaker Les Brown. Imagine you're on your deathbed and all that's surrounding you are ghosts, ghosts of the ideas, the dreams and talents that were given to you. But for whatever reason, you never used those ideas or pursued your talents or your dreams. We never saw your leadership. You never wrote that book. You never used your voice. And there those ghosts are, looking at you with large, angry eyes, saying, we came to you, and only you could have fulfilled our dream. Now we must die with you. Fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, and dreamers everywhere, the question is, if you die today, what ideas, what dreams and talents would you take with you? I'm reminded of a great quote by Langston Hughes. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. I want to share three dreams, or rather ideas, of why people don't fulfill their dreams. One, they've been hurt by past disappointment. Or maybe they failed at a dream, or they don't even have the confidence to pursue the dream. I know that there have been many people who take surveys, and then it's found that they all have dreams, but 95% of them are frustrated by the dream. Where do you fall in there? Perhaps you wanted to be a speaker, and still do. You can do it. You can still dream. Thanks to Toastmasters, I hope to be a, a, a coach, and not just a coach, but an international skills coach, presentation coach. Maybe you want to mentor young people or launch a business, whatever it is you can do. But leadership guru, guru John Maxwell says, in order to be successful at your dream, you have to define it for yourself. How many would agree Life is just too short to be living someone else's dream. When you own your dream, it will have the right fit, but when someone else owns the dream, it won't feel right to you. When you own your dream, it will give you energy, but when someone else owns the dream, it will drain you. And when someone else owns your dream, you'll feel you're made to do it, but when you own your dream, you feel that you are born to do it. Novelist Mark Twain said, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you understand why. And when you pursue that why, the purpose, then if it's big enough, that why, then the how will come. Look at the neighbor to the left and right of you and say, it's possible, it's possible. It's possible to pursue your dream it takes goals, it takes dreams, and surrounding yourself with a good team. Who's on your dream team? My dream team are filled with pe people who support me and aren't afraid to let me rise and shine. And they're around for me when sometimes I don't feel as confident as I should. I want you to remember that also you don't want to have a beginning and then compare it to someone else's middle. And then life can have its ups and downs and take turns, unexpected turns. You have to have plans and goals, but even the best laid plans can go awry. You've heard my story. 
I had to take a detour. After 15 years as a journalism educator, there was a change of leadership. Suddenly, I was no longer teaching young people. My contract wasn't renewed. It was a difficult time in my life. And sometimes a setback is a setup for a comeback. I had to do what I always tell my students, and that was to dream big. I love being inspired by Oprah Winfrey, and I love her quote that says, God can dream a bigger dream than you can ever dream for yourself. So if you're thinking about quitting, don't give up. If you know that it's about your dream, someone will be there for you at some point in your life to lift you up. So don't give up. They say that if your dream doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. But don't give up. Hold fast to your dream. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream. I challenge you to keep believing, to keep achieving, and hold fast to your dreams. Madam Contest Chair. Timers, please give us another minute of silence.